We had a significant burst main on a 36 inch diameter water pipe causing huge flooding right down to the point where the railway bridge crosses there and right down Auchenhowie Road. The tar started rising. Thankfully we had a great response team to isolate the repair and bring water back in. That took around about five hours, all of that network reconfiguration. There's a number of other utilities that run through here. That included a BT and included a couple of gas pipes as well. So all of that had to be made safe before we could then make the repair. The cause of that is undetermined, it's not pressure related. The pipe had to be taken out in two parts. One part was dislodged under the high voltage cable. The high voltage cable that runs through here actually supplies Mogai Water Treatment Works. So the treatment team up at Mogai had to then prepare for that to be shut down in order for us to move that broken pipe work out and start the repair. From the burst to the point where people um, were back in water, it was roughly five hours, which given the size of the, the main and the size of the population that was disrupted, um, I think that was a fantastic recovery by the water operational team. It's been an achievement right out into our supply chain, this one, so there's probably been about 50 people. That's included excavating all the way and then refilling that, sorting all the ironwork and the pavement and the curbs and then the final bit of the black top to resurface the road back to its normal condition. For the first two days or so, we had two roads closed and about a 15 minute diversion in place. Thankfully, we were able to open that road with two-way signals um, within two days of the burst occurring. That saved probably about 10 minutes off the diversion for people that are, that are using these roads regularly. These trunk main systems in, in Glasgow are pretty resilient. Uh, they don't happen often, but when they do, you can see how catastrophic it is. You'd think in an adverse situation like this we'd, we'd, we'd have a lot of negative sentiment but we've not. They were really appreciative of the response. We were right on it from the start. Communicating and kind of visually allowed people to understand the complexity of what we were dealing with. So whilst we've had some community disruption here, we've had a really, really positive response to the community and we thank them for their patience and their cooperation.